somebody happy to be here today? Yeah. Are you happy to be here today? Yeah. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. If you are that one that is happy, shout it, thunder us, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for today and let your name be glorified. Angels, we invite you to come and be in charge right now. We invite the Holy Spirit to take control right now in the name of Jesus. By the Spirit of the Lord, O oh Lord, we invite you, Lord Jesus, to manifest, Father, yourself in us. And as we go back home today, our life will never remain to be the same. We hope on the service today in the name of God the Father, and in God, God of Son, and God of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's begin to worship the King of Kings tonight and worship the Lord of Lords. The omnipotent, the I am that I am, the King of glory. Yes. Father, we worship you. We give you glory tonight. Yes. Yes. Because you are a faithful God, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you because you are a faithful Father. You loved us all from the beginning two. to the end, Father. Amen. We thank you because you are a Father of all. Father, we thank you for this time in your presence. Father, we thank you for bringing us here tonight safely. We thank you for those that are watching online. We just thank you for those that connected all on. We thank you for those that are on their way, Father. We thank you for those that are on their sick bed, Father. Because the Bible says before we were formed in our other womb, you knew us, O oh Lord. You know what we're going to go through, Father. And we wave our hands, O oh Lord, to say thank you. Hello, happy that day, Father. 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 Hello, happy that day, there is no like you, come on, the lebo seca tayada ba yekayaba. He leba mayana mayada ba seca to yedeba. There is no like you, no like you, no like you, no like you, Jesus. You are good, you are worthy, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Jehovah Labo Sakayaba. The one who was always and is and is to come, my yelabo Sakayaba. Jesus, you are good, 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 Jesus, you are good, you are good, you are good. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I bow on you. Ye ke de banana da ba ya na da da ma ya ma ya na ma ya na. Ye de 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 ba na ya da da ba la ma na da. Ye ke de de ka do de ba ba ya na na na. Ye na 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 ma na ma na ma ma ba ya da ba ba ya da ba sa ka ya. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are kind. Jesus, you are good. Ah na na de de bo se ke de de be de be be de be be de be be de ba ba. Iko se ke te, Iko se ke te. Manta sakata la ba. Shapa soko tole. Iko na 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 mani la ba. We give you the praise, you give you the praise. Jesus, ayaba ayaba. Jesus, la ba 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 ye la ba ba. Po 
Masuka Hare Basikaba Woshake the Bela Manalaba Yike Bebe Masaka Tayalaba You are water, you are water, you are water, you are water, Lani Ade Basika Shaka Yaraba We give you the praise, you give you the glory, Lily Masa Yaraba Father, we worship you, Jesus Yes, Jesus Everything we think about you is Everything we think about you is great. You are 
his grace. You are great. 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 His grace. Mm -hmm. We think about you, His grace. Healing is mine. Healing is mine. 
Healing is my today. I chose it. Let you by me. Healing is my this Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. I chose it. Get behind me. Oh, it's mine. It's mine. Victory is mine, feeling is mine, feeling is mine, is mine. I go say that, get it behind. Victory is mine, is mine. Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory is mine, is mine. I go say that. Get it behind me, and it's where is my hair is mine. Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory is mine, victory is there is mine. I toss it up, get it behind me, it's where today is mine. Joy is mine, joy is mine. Joy today is mine. I told say that get it behind. Joy today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told say that to get behind. Victory today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I don't say that. Get the eye. Victory today is mine. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus, Jehovah, you are good, you are good, you are good, you are good, you are the Ancient of days, you are good, you are the Baba. Maya Kadada, the Alaba, she got a bam. Jehovah, whatever the Bassi, the Baba. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you honor. You are worthy. 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 
Jesus, Amen. Yes, yes. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, yes, Come on, come on. Yes. The enemy will shake you. Yes. When you don't know what to say, mm. the enemy will shake you. Mm. When it's time for you to be comfortable, mm. the enemy will come to shake you. Ah, yeah, I am to encourage you tonight. Jesus. Say, Father, Come on. I will remain standing. Stand. I will remain standing. 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 He will bring you through. He will bring you through. Amen. This problem. Mm. He will bring you out of this. And he will set you up. Oh, Lord. 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 Stand firm, Lord. I stand firm in your spirit. I stand firm in your anointing. I stand firm in the spirit. 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 I stand firm. 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 I stand for my stand for my stand for Lily Bassa Catayanaba. May the book of Sakatayanaba, Nana Yanaba, the book of Sayana Balabala Mania Bassaka. She over you are good, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I know that you remain my constant. Yes. It's when you know God is your constant. Come on now. Why? Because you know he remains your constant. Yes, ma. You know what constant means? Mm. When nothing can move it, ah. he stands so sure. Mm. And that is who we serve. Mm. And that is the kind of God I am talking about. Uh. I want you to say tonight, you will turn my situation around. Yes. Yes. You will turn my situation Come around. Come on. Yes, I remain faithful. Amen. You will turn my situation around. Amen. Yes, Amen. Oh Lord, Lord, turn my life around. He will turn my situation around. Turn my situation around. Turn my situation around. Turn my situation around. Lord, Lord, turn my situation around. Turn my situation around. Yeah, I give number to you, Lord. Oh Lord, I give it to you, Lord. Oh Lord, I give it to you, Lord. I give it to you. I give it to you. I give it to you. Live my sick, I got about. Father, visit me, not leave me alone. You will not leave me, you will not leave us. Sick, I got about. We stand up for the bottom of our. Yeah, man, I like us. Sick, it is a man. Let your name be glorified. Yes, you are good. You are good. I stand firm, man. And we know every situation that needs to be turned around. We will turn around this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Put your beautiful hands together and say, God, we thank you. Among the God who is like thee, 
you are glorious in holiness, powerful in praises. Do it wonders, hallelujah. Among, among the God, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, do it wonders, hallelujah. Who is like unto thee, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you this evening. Just thank worship you. him. Lord, we magnify you. We thank you, Lord, for this time in your presence. We lift up holy hands unto you and we worship before your throne. You are a God that does wonders. You are a turn around God. You do wonders, you do miracles. Yes, yes, he said, yes, he said, yes, yes. You said, come, which you come unto you, all we that are labored and heavy laden, that you will give us rest. You are a turn around God. You are a miracle walking God. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. We magnify your name. We say, Hallowed be your name forever. Yes, Lord. Blessed be your name, Father. Yes, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Yes. We return all the praise unto you, Lord. For you alone is worthy. Yes. You alone is worthy. Yes. You alone is worthy. Yes. You alone is worthy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so, Father, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We have come tonight to sit at your feet. He said, blessed is everyone that you cause to approach before you. Ah. For they shall be blessed. Thank you, Lord. We know that we are not living this encounter the same way we come. Amen. We know we shall live here with a touch. Mm. Burdens shall be lifted. Amen. Yokes shall be broken. Amen. Destinies will be restored. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we know we are come living with our healing. <laughs> we are living with our restoration. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Amen. The joy of the Lord mm. shall be our strength. Amen. In the name of <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, everlasting Thank Father. Thank you, O oh Lord. We bow down. Ah. And worship <laughs> Yahweh. Hey. We bow down and worship <laughs> Yahweh.
Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We worship before your throne. For in your presence there is fullness of joy. Yes, Lord. And in your right hands there are pleasures forevermore. And you, God, inhabit the praise of your people. Yes. You say, let Judah go first. Let Judah go first. Then the fire will descend. Then the glory will come. Lord, we've lifted up our sacrifice of praise. Lord, we're presenting our body, our life like a living sacrifice. Jesus. Let your fire, fire. accept our sacrifice of praise tonight. <laughs> And let your glory descend upon everyone that is connected right now. Let your glory terminate shame. Let your glory terminate reproach. Let us move from glory to glory. Let us move from grace to grace. Let your manifest presence bring a difference in the name of Jesus. How I love calling your name. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Every day. Every day. Your, your name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Call in your, your name every, every day. day. Every day, your name, name is the same. Oh, the Lord is good. Thank mm. you, everlasting Father. Mm. Blessed be your name, Lord. There is none like you. You know, I just want to, you know, continue worshiping in his presence. Mm -hmm. the, I can feel his presence in the house. Mm -hmm. I can feel him in the house. Jesus. And I see God touching you right now, wherever <laughs> you are. I see God touching you fire. right now. I see God touching somebody right fire, now. Fire, fire. I see God bringing the change. Fire. I see God bringing the turnaround. I see God bringing the increase. I see God bringing the healing. I see God lifting you to the next level of promotion. The Bible says in Psalm 126, verse 1, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, yeah, 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 we were like them that dreamed. Dream, sir. And our mouth was filled with laughter. Come on, come and on. And our tongue was singing. Ah, Hallelujah. Yeah. So we are singing because we know. Jesus. We are singing because we know our turnaround God has turned our sorrow into joy. Amen. We are singing because our turnaround God has turned our mourning into dance. Jesus. We are singing because our turn around <laughs> God has has taken away the garment of shame Come on now. and put Come upon on. us the garment of praise. Jesus. Come on. Hey. When the Lord turn again our captivity. You know what the Bible says as I encourage us tonight. In John chapter 16, verse 20, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that you shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, but it is not for long. Because even though you shall be sorrowful very shortly, but your sorrow 
shall be turned into joy. Amen. Your sorrow shall be turned into joy. Amen. I want to encourage somebody there. Mm. The Lord has declared this month unto us as our month of sudden turnaround. Yes. Yes. Ah. You may have been sorrowful. You may have been going through pain. You may have been going through travails and you don't see an hand in sight. Men may be mocking you. The world may be, may be mocking you. You may be lamenting, when is my situation going to change? Ah. But the Lord that turned again the captivity of the Israelites ah. is saying, very shortly, your sorrow shall be turned into joy. Amen. He said, very shortly, your pain shall be turned into gain. Amen. Very shortly, God is bringing the healing. Amen. Your disappointments are turning to divine favors. Amen. Your misfortunes are turning to divine intervention. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. He said, weeping may only endure for a night. But very shortly, joy comes in the morning. I welcome you to the dawn of your money. Ah. I welcome you to the dawn of your money. Jesus. Every issue of sorrow in your life, every issue that has caused you to weep, is being turned around for you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 He's done it already. It is done. It is done. It is done. What you it say is done. you would do, that is what you would do. That is why you are called Jehovah. <laughs> that is why you are called Jehovah. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Lord. Our God is not a man that he will lie. Mm -hmm. Neither is he the son of man that he will repent of his words. Amen. As he said it, will he not do it? As he spoken it, will he not make it good? Numbers 23, verse 19. That is the God that we serve. Amen. He has declared this as your season of sudden turnaround. I want you to be expectant. I want you to be hopeful. I want you to overflow with hope. I want you to overflow with expectancy. Because I know the dawn of your turnaround is here. Amen. So as we go further in this world encounter service, I'd like to invite a great minister of God to bring us the word of the hour. And I want you to cling to every word spoken because you don't know the word that is going to stir up the pool of your miracle. Because there's a miracle pool in this house right now. And it just takes the word to stir that miracle pool in your favor. Don't lose your moment. Don't miss your time because your miracle is here for you to pick up in the name of Jesus. 
why don't you put your hands together as I invite Minister Sam to come forward and be a blessing to us tonight in the name of Jesus. Keep on putting your hands together for Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. You are not celebrating me. You are celebrating the great I am that I am, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Ah, God bless you. God bless you. Tell somebody, say, God bless you. Now you're not saying it like you mean it. Say to somebody, say, God bless you. Hallelujah. Can you say it like the way the American people say? Say, God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want you to do it like the Niger, the Nigeria people say, God bless you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. And all the time. My mom, before she passed away, blessed memory to her. She used to sing a song. And she would sing this song. And that is the song if you want her to give you part of her food. If she's cooking. <laughs> if she's cooking, you want her to make you a good meal. Sing this song. Hallelujah. The song says, He paid the debt. He do not own. I own the debt. I could not spare. I need someone to wash my tears away. <laughs> now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. <laughs> Lord Jesus paid the debt that I could never. When you sing this song when mom is in the kitchen, know that your day is good. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I got like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes we are out of here. I want to share the word of faith with you this evening. I want to thank God for the, for the man of God, you know, for Pastor Steve in the house for this privilege. It's an opportunity for me to stand in front of you guys again. Hallelujah. And there is one thing that says in the Bible to every man there is a successful somebody. You know, most of we see Pastor Steve every Sunday here, you know, very nice, energetic, talk to us. But knowing that there is somebody behind that, you know, somebody that is doing the shoes, you know, somebody that is making the food, you know, somebody that is making him to be who he is, hallelujah, a part of God. I want you to celebrate the grace upon my mother in the house, you know, Mrs. Kemi. God bless you, mama. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for this gift in the name of Jesus. I want to thank everybody in the house, you online. You that is watching me and all the praise team, you guys are doing good. God bless you for your faithful work in the name of Jesus. Quickly, I want to talk on something that we call favor. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say favor. No, you're not talking to me. Say favor. I want to hear you tell somebody, say favor. Listen, I want to tell you one thing. There is a difference between when God favor you and when a man favor you. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is different that a man favor you and when God favor you. It is two things. Tell somebody, say two things. Quickly, I want to run to the Bible. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 61, verse 1 to 13. Hallelujah. It said, the Lord said to Samuel, how long will you mourn for Saul? Since I have rejected him as a king over Israel. He said, fill your own with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse. Hallelujah. I'm sending you of Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be the king. But Samuel said, how can I go? If so, hear about it. He will kill me. The Lord said, take a hereafter with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what to do. <laughs> I love this passage. He said, you are, you are to anoint for me the one I indicate. Samuel did what the Lord said. When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town trembled when they met him. They asked, do you come in peace? Samuel replied, yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourself and come to the sacrifice with me. 
died, then he consecrated Jesse. Though surely the Lord anointed stand here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his eyes. Or I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance. But the Lord look at the heart. Then Jesse called Amidabed. And then he passed in the front of Samuel. But Samuel said, the Lord has chosen this one either. Jesse then shall pass by. Hallelujah. But Samuel said, no, the Lord chosen this one. Jesse has seven of his sons passed before Samuel. But Samuel said to him, the Lord has not chosen this. <laughs> so he asked, is he standing the sheep? He said, okay. He said, so he asked Jesse, are these all your sons that you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse Hanser. He is tending the sheep, Samuel said. Send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. <laughs> Listen, there are certain times in your life, your enemy will not sit down until God bless you. No, somebody didn't catch that one. <laughs> I said, sometimes in your life, your enemy will not sit down until God arrives for you. Hallelujah. He said, send the tending. He said, he will glow. He said, nobody will sit down until he arrives. So he sent for him and had him brought him. He was gloomy with the health and had a fine appearance and a handsome feature. The Lord said, rise up and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in his presence of his brother. And from that day, the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then went to Ramah. Hallelujah. Let me just exegete this and scatter it so that way you understand what God is talking about. There was this day that God wanted to favor somebody. Somebody they have rejected. Somebody that nobody thinks it will become some, something. Hallelujah. In your life. And that is how God operates. When it comes to favor, it doesn't matter your qualification. It doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter if you have your PhD, your master's. It doesn't matter about the money you have. Hallelujah. It matters to God who you are. When he's ready to favor you, he will take you from behind and bring you to the front. No, somebody's not hearing me here. Hallelujah. Somebody say, hey, man. That is what happened. The Bible said God sent Samuel. He said, go to the house of Jesse. Hallelujah. And I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to indicate to you what to do. Now, when Samuel arrived at the scene of Jesse, the house of Jesse, their sons were so many, seven of them. Samuel brought them all. Now, this is what happened, especially in our community days. Now, there are certain people they favor too much. They think you are not the one that's supposed to be there. They will bring the better walls in front, and then those that are not qualified will be at the back. This is what happened. Somewhere appeared at the house of Jesse. And when he got there, the, the father brought Jesse, brought all the sons that he chose. He knows that these are the better ones. These are the ones that qualify. He put them, line up them in front of who? Samuel to be anointed. But listen, this is not what God wants. There may be a tarry time sometime, woman of God, in the house of God. Many will come in front, show their faith. Show that they know how to do it, but God chooses one is at the back. Is somebody hear me? Hallelujah. We split this to the meaning when he arrived at the scene. What Jesse did brought all the main son. This is the eldest. This is the one I love. This is the one I need. Anoint this one, do this one. But the Lord said to Samuel, Stay back and wait. I have to command you to do what I sent you to do. Hallelujah. Have you met in a situation where you went for an interview? People that has the masters, people that has the degree, people that has the qualification, they never choose them. But they chose you because the favor of God is upon you. <laughs> I don't know if somebody's getting where we're getting. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hallelujah. So none of them sat down. All of them stood up. The sons of Jesse stood up. And Samuel said, I'm not satisfied. The one God sent me for is not here. Hallelujah. That is how the angels always come to church. They will be in church for you. But because you are not here, others will stand up and wait until you arrive. Hallelujah. And then the man of God, the prophet, never anoints. He said, no, Jesse. Yes, I understand. You brought everybody out. These are your sons. He said, but there is one son that is not here. 
there is one here that is missing. Hallelujah. And Jesse said, oh, okay, now I know who you're talking about. Uh, that is not somebody we think about. Uh, uh, that is not somebody we think it will be among this kind of great men. Uh, that is somebody that take care of the sheep. It's a man that is in the bush, in the forest. Uh, so I consider him not. And Jesse said, oh, you're making a mistake. Uh, that is how people make mistake for you. Uh, they thought because you are not talking or you are not qualified, you are not driving the luxurious, oh, the bands or whatever, that you are not qualified to be in the midst. Uh, but the man of God, the prophet said one good thing. He said, hey, I don't want to make a mistake. Uh, even though you brought all your son and there is one missing in the bush, uh, this one that is standing here, they will not sit down until that other one comes. My God, when God is ready to appear for you, others will stand and wait until God show up. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but in 2023, God will show up for you and others will stand up and see what God will do for you. Somebody say glory. Hallelujah. Jesus, I feel like preaching in this place. Uh, and I feel I don't see empty benches. That is me. I see angels all around. They are listening to the message and you are blessed to be part of it today. Now, what happened when he got to the seam? He got right away at the seam. We are the kids and everybody were standing. The bigger one, the one after the father, the one, the two, the three, the four. They were all in line. And Jesse, the dad of the family, thought that the one that goes to the bush, the one that takes you of the sheep, the one that is not qualified, daddy boy, is not the one. I don't think you are anoint that man to become the king. But this is one thing. What people think about you is not what God thinks about you. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. What people think about you, their thoughts about you, is not the thoughts of God. The Bible says in Jeremiah, it says, I know the thought I think towards them. It said thoughts of good and not of evil, even to their expected end. So when he arrived, he said, well, you guys, I know you are the sons for Jesse. You guys can stand and wait. But I'm not going to do my anointing. I'm not going to do anything until the guy in the bush arrive in the sim. Listen, this year, 2023, until you arrive, nobody will take your blessing from you. Until you be in the sim, nobody will steal your glory. God will turn your situation around. Your enemy will see it and they will rejoice with you. Can you shout hallelujah? Jesus. Tell somebody, say the favor of God. The favor of God. They stood and wait for him. They stood for an hour. They were tired. And they stood up to two hours. They were tired. And someone, the prophet said, I know you guys are tired, but I have to do what God sent me to do. You guys will not sit down until the boy in the bush arrive. They sent to call Jesse and David. David was in the bush. All he was busy running after the sheep. All he was busy to do what his dad said he should do perfectly. All he was doing, it was praising God. The Bible says he's a man that likes to praise God. All he was doing all day he was in the bush when he arrived and Jesse said yes this is the man God has sent for me to anoint they anoint David even though he was behind God took him from behind and bring him forward this is how God is doing it for you even though you are behind they think you are illiterate you don't go to school they think you don't have degree oh my God I'm talking to somebody here they thought because you don't have the luxurious car they thought because you are not qualified they thought because you don't have money. People don't respect you. But listen, who God has blessed? I said, no man has cost. If God lifts you up, no one can put you down. Let them talk what they want to talk. Let them say what they want to say. God will visit you in the name of Jesus. Tell somebody, say the favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. We are talking about the favor of God. And now we're going to talk what is favor. We had the word favor, but what the meaning, what's the meaning of favor? Hallelujah. We say favor is one of the greatest demands of fulfilling life. When you fulfill life, you have got favor. Hallelujah. It is so different. Now listen, I went for an interview before I started working in the hospital. And when I was there, you know, they were talking about nurses. I'm not a nurse. 
I've never done what is not, you know. So I, I, I was sitting there, and everybody was like, man, you, you, what are you doing, man? You're here for an interview, you're not even qualified for us. I, I don't know, but I'm here because I know what is behind me. And everybody was lined up, and the interview number one, the interview number two, I was number three, and I started boiling. I'm like, oh, oh my God, I don't know what they're going to ask me. What question they're going to ask me? It was like five to six questions, but when it comes to my turn, it was only two questions. And before I know it, they say you got the job. That is how God favor you. Hallelujah. Favor can do what no man can do for you. Somebody scream, say favor. The favor of God is what you need. Hallelujah. You know how my Nigeria people define favor? My Nigeria people say favor is any magi. I mean, if you know magi. You know magi you put in the soap, in the soup to make it very sweet? That's Maggi or sauce. I don't know how you guys call it, but it's the Maggi. So the Nigeria people say, they say favor is any Maggi you added to your soup to give you flavor. Uh, I need to say that for somebody again. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Tell somebody say favor. It is anything that is sweet you can add to your sauce to make it flavor. Hallelujah. That is the definition of favor. I see God giving you favor today in that name of But before we end up, we round up. I want to tell you something. What is the difference between the favor of God and the favor of man? Hallelujah. What I understand by man, man can promise you for something tomorrow and they can change their mind. Man can change their mind in the next two minutes. Somebody can say, I'll be there for you even in a relationship. I will be there. I will love you till the end. Something will shake up and they will change their mind. But I'm talking about a man that will favor you and say, I will stand with you and he will be with you till the end. That is Jesus Christ. No matter the breeze, the wind that will blow, no matter the rain or shine, it will be there for you and that favor will be your favor in the name of Jesus tell somebody about I say I don't miss it today say I don't regret to be here ah can you tell it one more time say I am not in regret to be in the house of the Lord ah the favor of God will visit somebody today in the name of Jesus hallelujah we need the favor of God than the favor of man hallelujah the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Hallelujah. It said, and now, it said, it said, and now, it said, and the child Samuel grew up. Hallelujah. In the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Hallelujah. It talks about favor. And when he comes to Psalm, um, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 26, it says, and the child Samuel grew up and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. Hallelujah. That is how God favor you. I see the favor of God is different from man because when I grew up, you know, I was always thinking my mom and dad would be the best person to always do things for me. And I was always thinking that if you don't give it to me, my uncle will give it to me no matter what. That was my imagination. That was what I thought always. I was always like, don't worry, my auntie will give it to me. Don't worry. So that was my thought. I never knew that the favor of God is better than when your mommy or daddy or even auntie promise you. Hallelujah. Until when I read up the scriptures. Hallelujah. So we're going to go down and know the difference between what? The favor of, man, uh, of God and the favor of man. Hallelujah. The two different between them. Now, when it comes to the favor of man, like I mentioned, right? The Bible says, you know, there was a time, you know, when people were crying. They were so in hungry. They were hoping that they would get food. And then there was one man they called the tax collector. Always gather money from people. Take money from people. Hallelujah. But listen what happened. The day that man met with Jesus. Hallelujah. The man's life changed and gave whatever he took from people. And returned it back to them. Hallelujah. Now, I want to call that one with favor. Now, when it comes to the Bible, in Luke chapter 15, the Bible talks about the woman with the issue of blood. Hallelujah. This woman has been suffering for so long. The Bible just call him woman with the issue of blood because it's, she's somebody that went through severe things that are so bad. Bleeding, you know, going through that thing is so difficult that people start to run away from her. People say you're smelling and we don't need to be around you. Hallelujah. And everybody up we're gone. 
that all you're waiting for is just for you to die. Hallelujah. But now we talk about the favor of God. The day that the favor of God pour upon that woman, hallelujah, even though everybody castigates her, everybody push her backward on that day that Jesus was passing by, she pushed forward. She pressed forward. She said, no, no matter what. Listen, let me tell you one thing. In life today, there are so many times you want to come to church. You want to do the work, the, the work of God. But there are certain people in the media that will discourage you. There are some people that will tell you certain words that makes you become go weak and bitter. I don't want to be there. Oh, I'm tired today. That's the devil. Hallelujah. But listen, the woman of the issue of blood, the Bible said that day that Jesus stood and said, I'm going to pass by. The woman said, no matter what, I will receive my healing today. I will receive my favor. And guess what? As she pressed forward, people pull her back. As she stepped forward, people pull her back. People say, no, you are not qualified. Man, you're dirty. You, 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 you smell. You don't need to come close to Jesus. No, but that's not, that's what people will say. That's the imagination and thinking of man. But for God, he has something for her. Bible says she come closer. By the time she grabbed the cloth of Jesus, things turn around. Favor of God rests upon her. That is the favor that God will give to somebody. Hallelujah. And then when it comes to man, I understand, you know, there's a lot of people that goes to work, you know, we put our hope and trust, you know. But one thing I realize, even when you go to work, you make a lot of money, the money goes away. Even you make thousands for the month. Before you know at the ending of the month, the money is nowhere. Hallelujah. But when God favor you, money comes from different angles. No matter the work you do. No matter whatever you receive from, from churches or from people, from your job. God will bless you differently. Hallelujah. We don't put our trust on our job. Can I shock you? That even when you go to a job and work, if even you make millions in your job, if you're not there coincided with Jesus, especially giving your tithes, paying your offering, those money goes away back. Because there is principle, there is scripture as a Christian we need to entitle. to. Hallelujah. And when we are entitled to that, that is when the favor of God comes in. Hallelujah. So now we're going to talk about how are you going to attain this favor? Hallelujah. How to attract what? Favor. Hallelujah. In the next five minutes, we're done. How to attract this favor. Hallelujah. Now we know what is favor, but how we can attract this favor. Number one is humility. Hallelujah. Number one is what? Humility. When you obey and humble yourself, put yourself down there. Hallelujah. You see things turn around for you. If you put yourself the way God wants you. Now, another way to gain favor is to become an instrument of favor to others. How many of you have thought in your mind, like, I have to favor other people. I have to give to other people. I have to love them, no matter their condition. No matter what they go through. No matter what they say to me. Let them say what they want to see. What, I mean, what I'm doing, I'm doing it to God, the Father, Almighty, Almighty. He knows my heart. He knows who I am. You know what I mean? How many of you, in order to you to attract favor, you need to be what? Favor other people. Love other people. Hallelujah. And one key big thing I tell people always, for the favor of God to come upon your life day and night is forgiveness. You get that? For the favor of God, to always be there for you. You need what we call what? Forgiveness. Unforgiveness has brought a lot of diseases, sicknesses in the hospital. Oh, I met with one lady, beautiful lady. She's so beautiful in the ICU one time. And she's like, I don't know. I, I can let her go. Uh, she was so mean to me, you know. I, and, and I'm struggling with that right now, you know. But you are in the ICU. You're, you're having a breathing problem. And you still lock up somebody in your heart that you're not going to forgive them. I'm not going to let them go. This thing we call unforgiveness kill a lot of people. Some people go through cancer, some other bad, sick disease. We understand. But do you know the cure? I mean, the thing that occurs, that happens for them to get that? It's unforgiveness. Some people just grab you in their hurt. Say, I'm not going to forgive you no matter what. You are so mean to me. I will make sure that this happened to you. No, the Bible says forgive one another. The Bible says let it go, let it go. So you can have your healing and receive your favor from God. Hallelujah. If we let these things go, then God can come down. But if you don't do it, then that is where your favor is stuck. Is somebody getting me? That is where your favor is what? Stuck. So we need the favor. We need to favor others. We need to let others. We need to forgive. We need to you, uh, obey, be humble, humility. This is what attracts 
favor upon our head. In the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your right hand and say, my father, my father. Now say like a minute, your right hand. Say, my father, my father. Say, today, as I hear about favor, Lord, let your favor rest upon me. Let your favor rest upon my children. Let your favor rest upon my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you clap your hand and pray that prayer right now? My father, my father, as I listen to your word, the word favor, I need the favor upon my family. I need the word favor upon my children. I need the word favor in my life to turn me around, to change my story. In the name of Jesus, somebody lift your voice. Say, my father, my father, favor me in this earth. Wherever I go, I will be favored. Wherever I touch, I will be favored. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In the book of Acts, the book of Acts, before I forgot, the Bible says, honestly, they were praying, they were singing, and immediately, suddenly, you know, there was an earthquake. Hallelujah. This is Paul of silence. You know the Bible more than me. It said, when they sing and they were praying, they were crying, even though they told them, not singing. No singing. They said, no, we know who we sing to. You know, we know the God that we serve. And they kept singing. They kept praising God. They said, suddenly there was an earthquake. And the gates were opened. Their hands were loose. And they were free. That is favor. When God is ready to favor you, things scatter. Things move around. You are free from it. Lift your hand and say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. As I pray tonight, let your favor locate me in the name of Jesus. Somebody turn that into prayer. My father, my father, let your favor locate me. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Wherever you are, I want you to stand up right now and begin to wave to Jesus because I feel the presence of God in this place right now. Wave your hand and appreciate him. Say, Father, I thank you for my life. I thank you for my family. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. Father, I pray as I've heard your word, Lord Jehovah, may it sink into my soul, my spirit, my bones. In the name of Jesus, lift your hand, lift your hand, lift your hand. And say, Father, we appreciate you. Jesus, glory. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you, Adonah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You alone deserve the praise. You alone deserve the glory. Let your name be glorified. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. God bless you, Pastor. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put those beautiful hands together and celebrate God. Tell yourself, I am favored. I am favored. Tell your neighbor, are you favored? You are favored. Look at somebody, call them favor. God has changed my name tonight. Next time you see me, call me a favored woman. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for tonight, for your word. Thank you for the anointing of favor that's upon us tonight. We thank you, Jesus, because you brought us here for a purpose. And I know yep. that you have done much more better than what we thought tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we give you glory, we give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stretch your hands towards the pastor and say, God will bless him. God will renew his strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As he begins to call for one thousands we hear in the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of God upon us life will never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we destroy every spirit of destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Holy Spirit, you, we Jesus. bless and we worship yeah, 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 you. Yeah, yeah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Put your hands together and then be excited in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's package an offering for God before we go home tonight. It has been a wonderful service and I want to thank God for, for his miracle, for his blessings and for his favor, for turning our situations around. And I know one thing for sure, my, your life will never remain the same after tonight's service. Amen. And we thank God. Because you know one thing about God, it's not a re re respectant of thousands. Yes. He deal with individuals mm -hmm. based on your connection with him. And that is why the way he does his thing is completely mm -hmm. different. He says his ways are different from our ways. Hallelujah. And what he has for us, 
will definitely be for us. No man can take it away. And I know the blessings of tonight, the favor of tonight will never elude you in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's package an offering for God. Um, uh, little Samuel, uh, sister, okay, God bless you, love. Thank you. So let's package an offering to, you know, something beautiful. If you have an offering, if you want to give it through the uh, PayPal, if you want to give it through the text message, you can text it to 559-205, I believe 7443, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Other than that, bring your offering unto God. In the morning when I wake up, Amen. I will sing a praise in unto you, Lord. I will dance, I will sing to you. You will be mine forever, never. And my God is good. Everything I double double eh. Everything I double double eh. Everything I double double eh. I double. Yeah 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 yeah. My God is good eh. My God is. Yeah 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 yeah. My God is good eh. My God. Everything I double double eh. Everything in the Buddha blade. Everything in the Buddha blade. Hey, everything in the Buddha blade. Hey, everything in the Buddha blade. I said, Who was the final say? The final say, hey, no matter what the devil say, come on, turn around, turn around, Jehovah, turn my life, and, yeah, turn my life. He makes the way, makes the way, makes the way, where does he go? Yeah, Jehovah. One more time, I say, who was the final stage of us? Ah, who was the final stage of us? Hey, Jehovah, turn my life. Give it up, 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 give it up. Yes, it's the way. Jehovah, the final say. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. I see God turning things around for you and her in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you for what you have done tonight. We thank you for the blessings. We thank you for making ways for us. We thank you for turning our situations around in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bring forth this offering to your holy hand, Father. Father, has set this token, O oh Lord, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the hands that brought this forth, O oh Lord, Amen. and provide for those that don't have nothing to Amen. give. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, enlarge our coast and we rebuke the spirit of poverty in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Bless the works of our hands, O oh Lord, Amen. and give us a Brahmic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all adorations in Jesus' mighty name. We give him thanks. Amen, amen, amen. Put those beautiful hands together one more time. Pastor, you are welcome. We bless you. We thank God for your life. That was